Marek, the herb doctor of Urkutsk. I was gathering herbs here in this cave when suddenly some wolves attacked me. I panicked and ran deep inside. Then I got trapped by the falling icicles and could not get out. I am so cold. I have to find a way to warm up. What is that bag you have? Did you get it from an old babushka called Marta? So, she asked you to bring it to me. Can you open the bag for me? I knew it! Dobroi! This will be perfect! Normally, we drink this diluted in tea, but now I must take it straight. Ha! Tea! So, nook grass must always be diluted. At least it was not the powdered form. No one wants that up their nose. <laughs> anyway, now I am warm, that is for sure. Thank you. You have saved me, my friends. And she saved me too. Now I believe her old saying, that there is no bad without good. But how could she have known this would happen? If you are going back to Orkutsk, Perhaps we could travel together. Thank you. I am very grateful. If the wolves attack again, we are better to have safety in numbers. They've been waiting for me. There are so many of them. Uh, be careful. These are no normal wolves.
Ha! Ah, help me, friends! Why do they come for me like this? Wait! He is not the one. I sense Sage's blood, but it is not him. There must be another. We must find the chosen heir of the Sage. What? What was that voice? And what does it mean by the chosen heir? I cannot understand. It
First, I must tell you about Marta. I did not mean to hide it. There was just no time to tell you before. She is my mother. I should be the one to take over from her. I should look after the ruin behind the house when she is gone. So, I suppose you wonder why I am leaving here. The truth is, I abandoned my home. And my mother, too. She is a wise woman. I wanted to put all I had learned from her to good use. But I could not do that if I stayed in the mountains. So, I made my decision to leave. And I came here to help the people of Orkutsk with my herbs. And I should be happy, because I have helped them very much. But still, I am guilty for leaving my mother. Then, today, you appear with a bag of herbs she sent to me. I cannot tell you how happy I am. It makes me feel that she has finally accepted the choice I made. That's what parents are for. We always try to take care of our children and help them out if they're in a pickle. But I'm sure you didn't invite us here to tell us your life story. If I'm not mistaken, you have a favor to ask. Forgive me, you are right. There is something that is worrying me about my mother. You heard it too, that strange voice when the wolves tried to attack me. It said something about me having the blood of a sage. But that I was not the one that it must find the chosen heir. Well, an ancestor of mine was a sage, one of the sages that sealed away the Lord of Darkness. Now my mother and I are the only ones left from this bloodline. So, if I am not the heir, I am worried for her safety. So, I have decided to visit her, and this is where I must ask you a favor. Will you come with me? I am a little uneasy about going along. You will? Spashibo! Then we must hurry! We should leave at once! Excuse me, Dr. Merrick, but there is a patient here to see you. It is madness, drinking yourself into a stupor and passing out in the snow dressed like that. Of course you catch a cold. Sorry, but I am in a hurry. <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> so dizzy. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> All right, I will see you. I have just gathered some herbs that will cure you quickly. I have no choice. Forgive me, but... I must stay here for now. I will come after you as soon as I can. Will you go on ahead to my mother's house? I hope that there will be no problem. But please, go and see that she is all right.
ragazzo. Behind this door lies a world you cannot imagine. This will be a day of remembrance for you. Prepare to be puzzled.